on everyone if you haven't met me my name is KG and you're watching K in Kansas and we just moved here from California about seven months ago and today I'm actually going to be talking about our pods experience we used the pods to move here from Cali and I wanted to talk about the cost, the pros and cons of using pods, and also to give you an idea of how much work is involved in using a pods storage to move your items. But first, please don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Why did we choose to use the pods storage container? So for us, we've actually used it before when we moved from, whoops, bless you, but when we moved from Sacramento to uh, Vacaville, where we used to live in California, we've used it once and we really didn't have a bad experience. It was pretty easy, so we thought we'd give it a go with a cross-country move. The other reason why we wanted to use the pod storage is because we knew we were going to be moving twice. First, to live in an apartment in Kansas and second, to move into the house we are building here in Kansas. It was also very convenient for us to have the control to pack our stuff how we wanted it to be inside the container because like I said, we are gonna be living in an apartment for about six months, so we wanted all of our stuff that we always use towards the end of the pods container so we will have access to it once we get to Kansas. So what happens after you call pods and you set up a date to drop off your pods container in front of your driveway is that you have full access to it. You can pack it the way you want. You can pack it as fast as you want. You can pack it as slow as you want, but keep in mind once they drop off that container right in front of your driveway, your monthly fee starts right there. Another thing to think about is that wherever they're storing the pods container is temperature controlled, but while it's in your driveway, it is not temperature controlled, obviously. So for us, we were trying to pack that container during the summertime where we live, it would get to like 103, 104 degrees. So it was really hot. So we had to make sure that we loaded things that we didn't want exposed to heat closer to when the pod container was gonna get picked up. Again, as I said, we've used the pods container about two times now, and we've never really had a bad experience with them, but I can't speak for everyone who uses the pods storage containers. So now that your container is in your driveway, let's talk about how to pack your container. Tip number one is make sure that you maximize every space in that container because the more you maximize the space in the container, the less your stuff would shift during transportation and it'll actually make it safer. So make sure you pack it up like a burrito. The second tip I have for you is if you can, try to get the same size boxes so you can just stack them all up and you don't have any um, gaps to fill in. Tip number three, I mean, it's common sense. Make sure that you wrap everything that can break. Use a bubble wrap or saran wrap to those things that have drawers or any doors that would flip and crack something because even though you think you have packed your container really, really tight, it's gonna shift. So when you look at your pods container right when they deliver it, as you open it, you will see clips on the sides of the walls and that's really for you to use so you can brace your stuff and it doesn't shift or move forward or backward while it transports. And the last tip for packing for you is make sure that you keep your valuables with you while you drive cross country. Now let's go ahead and talk about cost. I've said this in my videos before, moving cross country is very, very seasonal. In the lower season, it can run you about 3,800 to about $6,300. And during the high season, it can get all the way up to 6,200 to about 10 grand. So how much did the pods storage cost us? The moment they actually drop that container in front of your door, they are gonna charge you, like I said. So for us, it was about $485. If you wanna break down, I will let you know right now. Uh, we had to pay about $166 for the pod delivery fee. And then on top of that, we had to pay $50 of insurance. Monthly storage fee started the moment they dropped off that empty container. So for us, it was about $205. That's with a $50 discount because we were keeping our stuff with them for about three to six months. 
And um, again, when you call the pods people, make sure that you ask for any discounts or any, any promotions that they have to bring your monthly down. So on top of the $485 that they charged us, we had to pay for what they call a transportation fee which is basically our container moving from California to Kansas. For us, uh, it was $2,811. But again, that is based on mileage. So really, if we didn't have to store our stuff in their storage facility for about six months, we would have paid less than $3,500. And I think that is a pretty good deal. Ultimately, I think our experience with pods, even for the second time, was amazing. Whenever my husband called them to schedule any drop-off, whether here in Kansas or in California, we never really had a problem. I would recommend using a pods container if you don't mind moving your stuff yourself into the pods container and out of the pods container. I hope that I helped you make a decision today and um, please leave any comments that you would like down below. Stay blessed. Don't forget to hit like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.